everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where last time we finished up our initial trip into Conjury by doing the level 15 Conjurer quest. Today we are picking up our last combat class for Gridania, the Archer. Greetings adventure and welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Or Archers Guild, oh wow, okay I'm sleepy this morning. It is here that Archers the Realm Over gathered to master the bow. We engage the enemy from a distance, ever seeking to alter the course of battle with a single well-placed arrow. If you have a mind to become an archer, then you have come to the right place. Do you wish to join our ranks? I do indeed. Marvelous, then allow me to enlighten you on the history of both our art and the guild. The bow is an ancient tool that has existed before our fair nation came into being. As an implement of war and hunting both, it protects us from our enemies even as it keeps us fed and clothed. Archery as practiced in Gridania was born of two distinct styles of bowmanship. The first was devised by the longbow sentries of the Elizin who once ruled the lowlands, while the second belonged to the short bow hunters of the formerly nomadic Mukote. As you will doubtless be aware, both races ultimately came to call the Twelve's Wood home. Though the two peoples began as rivals, they gradually learned to live together in harmony. During this time, they learned from one another their two schools of archery intermingling to give birth to the art it is known as today. Ah, but this wouldn't have been possible were it not for the Trapper's League. The guild was established in order to promote sustainable hunting and cooperation within the hunting fraternity at large. As a happy consequence of this union, the guild's members came to engage in friendly contests of skill. Inspired by such competitions, a handful of their number began to focus on perfection as opposed to mere practicality, transforming a skill into what uh, may be termed an art. These individuals would go on to form a guild of their own. Aye, the Archer's Guild, where men and women gathered to attain mastery over the bow. More than a few members of the God's Quiver loosed their first arrow within these very halls. And that, my friend, is a brief history of archery in Gridania. Doubtless you are more eager than ever to take up the bow. It would be my pleasure to recommend you to our guildmaster. You must receive her permission if you are to join us. If you would excuse me a moment, I shall see to it that the relevant lists are amended. Pray speak to me again in a short while. Alright then, let's go ahead and accept the way of the archer and get going. Or was it my first bow? I always forget the order, but it doesn't matter too much. So, are you resolved to join the archer's guild? I am indeed. The look in your eye bespeaks your determination. It would be my pleasure to refer you to Guildmaster Lucienne. Lest you worry unduly, Lucienne is an affable and kind-hearted woman. Even those not of the guild have been known to seek her counsel on various matters, and ever have they been given fair hearing. Lucienne awaits you in the training area yonder. Present yourself before her and impress upon her your desire to join the guild. Alright, let's do this. Hello, Lucienne. I would love to become an archer. Greetings, adventure. I am told you wish to join our ranks. I am Lucian, the master of the Archer's Guild, and I bid you welcome. Our doors are open to all who have the will to learn. Allow me to explain the basics of our art and offer you a foretaste of that which we teach the members of the Guild. The bow's greatest advantage is its range. Unlike those arms used in other disciplines of war, it allows one to strike at the enemy from afar. Though the bow no may not boast the destructive force of a sword or spear, its myriad strategic applications more than compensate for this shortcoming. An experienced archer can immobilize an enemy by striking a leg or sapid strength with a poisoned arrow. Rise to become a virtuoso of archery and a veritable deluge of death will be yours to rain down upon your foes. By fighting from a distance, we can better assess the battlefield and thereby determine the most advantageous course of action. This is of paramount import as our role in battle is to exploit the enemy's weakness. With the requisite placement and timing, but a single arrow may serve to turn the tide. To this end, the guild seeks to instill a discerning eye within its members, that they might learn to strike at vulnerabilities, swiftly and surely. Now, any halfway can bend the bow, but it is no simple undertaking to become a skilled archer. You must be prepared for long and arduous journey. Are you resolved to complete that journey? I believe I am. That is well. From this moment forth, you may consider yourself one of our number. Now lend me your hunting log, if you would. I shall add to it the names of such creatures as would provide a fitting challenge to an archer. And to help you on your way, I bestow upon you this short bow. 
Arm yourself with your new weapon and then speak to me again. I would have you undertake a trial to gauge your fitness to join the guild. All right, we got our bow. Let's get that equipped, set up our initial gear sets. And where are we gonna be putting Archer? Looks like Archer is just above Arcanist. All right, I really wish I could say just insert at location, but unfortunately, if I were to do reassign set number, which would be the way you would think you would do that, it would swap with Arcanist, so eh, eh. Not the best system, but most people don't also organize like I do. Anyways, got my set up set up. Let's go ahead and purge some hot bars. And we're ready to go. Lucien wishes to gauge your aptitude for archery. Ah yes, the bow becomes you, Satora. Now before proceeding any further, I must needs gauge your innate aptitude for archery. To this end, I hereby assign you the following trial. Slay the squirrels, ladybugs, and fungwars that roam just beyond the city gates. Three of each should suffice. In doing so, you will prove your fitness to join the Archer's Guild. It goes without saying that you must do so using your bow. Report back to me when the task is complete. Go now, Satora, and earn your place within these halls. Alright then, let's get out there, and it is the same exact trial as usual. So back out to the Central Shroud we go. And before we do anything, I do want to make sure I'm eating food. I am trying really hard to make that a habit. Got it. Okay, good. Now then, as we head out, let's go ahead and take a look at our first action. Heavy Shot with a range of 25 Yalms. It is our starter GCD. Delivers an attack with a potency of 160. All right, sounds good. Let's just go ahead and get to hunting, and as mentioned before, one of the biggest advantages of playing as an archer is you get to attack from a distance very easily. Granted, the same is true of... Uh, the same is true of m basically any magical uh, ca uh, class, like Arcanist or Conjure. But with the cast times on magical classes, Archer just feels a little bit better to be considered a ranged class, because you can run, run away while you are fighting without interrupting your attacks. Oh god, don't delete it, I wanted to move it there. Anyways, we've gained three levels very, very quickly, so let's go ahead and take check out our new abilities. Straight Shot is a GCD with a recast of... Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, delivers an attack with a potency of 200, so a little bit more than Heavy Shot, not too much more. You can only be executed when Straight Shot ready, and now there is an additional effect on Heavy Shot, 20% chance of becoming Straight Shot ready. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to be honest, Straight Shot is not a very good ability. I really wish it would have a much higher potency than it does, because right now, 20% chance of giving an increase of 40 potency, uh, 0.2 times 40, uh, that's 8. That's an increase of 8 potency on average. That's nothing. Uh, the other thing we got, Raging Strikes, is a recast time of 2 minutes, it increases damage dealt by 15%. It is a very good little buff. Make sure you have it used whenever possible. But seriously, it's only like an 8 potency increase on average. That's pathetic. I don't like it. I'm not complaining about the potency increase. I just think it's barely worth it. It's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate that it's so weak. No, I did not mean to fight the ladybug. I wanted to go after the fungwar to finish off the hunting log. And that bumps us to level 5. Awesome. Alright then, uh, any new equipment? Yes. 
No new bow yet, surprisingly. I thought I had some. Oh, I might have actually recrafted them into even stronger bows. Oh, but we've got the leather eye patch, which is a big boost in defense. Uh, we've got the custom-made tunic. We've got the fingerless leather gloves and the leather crack owls. Look at those defense buffs. Oh my god. Hang on. So right now we have defense 46, magic defense 82. Over doubled our regular defense and a 50% increase to our magic defense. That is wild. I love that. I, I know that's just the effects of using crafted gear. Crafters are really good at getting you equipped. But still, oh my god, that's a huge buff. Also, I know it's early game, so there's a lot of room for improvement. Still, just going... Our first, our first gear upgrade gives that much of a boost. It's absolutely wild. I love it. And actually, I'm curious, what's our item level? Six. So above our regular level. Nice. Alright, then back to the Archer's Guild. Let's let Lucienne know we have completed the task. Welcome back, Satora. It would seem you have successfully completed the trial. You have proven yourself worthy of a place within these halls. It is with pleasure that I name you an Archer of the Guild. As the Fellows of the Path, let us together strive for ma greater mastery of our arts. Now, though you may be a member of the Archer's Guild, know that your seniors will not coddle you with personal attention. It is up to you to seek out the experiences you need to grow as an archer. By way of a first step, I encourage you to practice proper technique. Loose arrow after arrow, paying close attention to form until the movement becomes second nature. When drawing your bowstring has become as natural to you as drawing breath, and the world seems clearer when viewed down the shaft of an arrow, return to me. Go well, my young apprentice. Alright, our first archer quest is done. Let's finish off today by working on the hunting log. We've already finished the first three, so next up are mightlings and midge swarms in the north shroud. Alright, Mightlings should be right over here at Tree Speak, and I think Mid Swarms are up at Peace Garden, so ooh. That's getting a little bit closer to the level 10 enemies, so not the most comfortable going up there, but oh well, it's fine. It will be fine. Alright, then Mightlings, where are you at? It is time for you to be hunted. Here we are. Oh, what the hell? How'd the ladybug get hurt? Did I step on it? I don't remember doing anything to harm it. Oh, and we got a whole bunch of abilities coming in. All right, I'm gonna move Love Graze over here. Venomous Bite's in a good spot. And we will go over those abilities in just a moment. All right, Venomous Bite. Venomous Bite is a DP, uh, sorry, a DOT attack. It is a damage over time attack. GCD type with a potency of 100. Gives a Venom uh, damage over time effect with a potency of 15 and a duration of 45 seconds. So that's... 15 ticks, 15 times 15. I can't do that math in my head. Sorry, not 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 on the fly. Not while I'm in the middle of recording. So calculator. That's a total of 225 plus 100. That's 325 potency from Venomous Bite. It is a very, very good ability. Keep that on your opponents at all times. Leg Graze afflicts targets with heavy plus 40% for 10 seconds. Recast of 30 seconds. Basically, it just slows them down so they can't chase after you as much. And that will be very helpful for maintaining your distance. And we will definitely be showing that as we go to fight the Midge Swarms. Alright then, we'll go ahead and start off with Leg Graze, Venomous Bite. And you can see it's actually moving really slowly as it tries to chase us, which gives us 
ample opportunity to stay a decent enough distance away so they can't even begin to hurt us. Very nice. Yeah, Archer has a lot of really good abilities from the start. It's a pretty powerful starter class, not gonna lie. Which makes Bard a little bit more disappointing, but we will get to that in 30 levels. Well, 24 levels. I'm not the biggest fan of what happens to Archer in the later half of A Realm Reborn. I'm really not, which is unfortunate, because I do like it as a starter class. And it is the class I in fact started with when I first started playing the game. Oh well. Um, it Bard may have actually been improved since last I played it. And it's not the worst. It's not like it's bad to play. I just don't like it. Alright, we hit level 7 to finish off. Uh, yeah, no new gear. So yeah. Hunting log is done through rank 5. I'm feeling pretty good. So then, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, we are going to be returning to the Archer's Guild and taking care of the Archer Level 5 quest. Making some good progress. We are so close to continuing the main story. I'll see everyone next time for that. <laughs>